Welcome to EVO 10 ECU Flash Training Part 13. In this video, we're going to learn how to work with our MyVec Variable Cam programming and our ECU Flash software. We're going to find that the 4B11 engine has MyVec on both the intake and exhaust camshafts. We can control the camshaft rotation as the engine is going through the auto cycle. That's going to allow us to control the overlap and being able to promote better cylinder filling and have a broader torque band and have a quicker spooling out of our turbocharger. We're going to learn the fundamentals here in the video, and then I'm going to go through what the stock tables look like as well as properly tuned tables. And then we're going to go into our Megalog viewer and learn how to determine if your MyVec is operating properly, and then just getting a general idea of how it can influence our boost and the drivability of our engine. We're going to have a lot to cover, so let's jump into this video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at working with and programming our MyVec variable cam timing in our EVO 10 4B11 engines. We have a lot of things to talk about. There's a lot of things to consider when we're going into programming it from an economy standpoint, from a performance standpoint. We need to make sure things are dialed in right. And when you get your MyVec programming correct, you're going to find that you have a huge, huge difference in drivability, a huge difference in fuel economy, and a huge difference in the turbocharged spool as you're driving the engine. It's going to make the engine essentially just wake up. So let's go in and jump in and take a look at our MyVec tables here first. Let's go into our current ROM metadata. Now I have a 5558005 file open here. I actually have two files. We'll be talking about both of these files here and, um, and what, they, what they mean and why I have two open here in just a little bit. I'm actually going to go here in my 5558005 mod1 MyVec stock. This is going to be representing stock MyVec uh, tables. This will be what you open up and look at, and then we'll take a look at some modified tables and kind of the before and after, and we'll look at some data logs so we can get an idea of what to expect when we're programming our MyVec. So first things first, let's again go jump down to our current ROM metadata. We're going to move down here into the timing area. We're going to find we have some MyVec tables here we want to look at. So we're going to have our MyVec intake normal coolant temp, and we're also going to have here, let's jump down, our MyVec um, exhaust normal coolant temp. Now we do have some other tables here. There's going to be a uh, low coolant temp and uh, for the both intake and exhaust. And then we're going to find some interpolation tables. They're going to be bouncing between these two tables here, uh, depending if it's warming up, if the engine's cold, or the engine's at normal operating temperature. So we'll, we'll get into that here in just a little bit, but there's a lot to talk about with just, the, just these two tables alone. So what we'll find here in a variable cam to equip engine doesn't necessarily mean that it's my VEC where it's going to have both the intake and exhaust cam that we can actually rotate and move during the engine's operation in the auto cycle. So any variable cam engine, we're going to find it's oil pressure based, meaning we're going to be supplying oil pressure from the block through an oil pressure control solenoid. That oil pressure control solenoid is going to be sending a regulated amount of oil pressure into the variable cam gear. So if you're familiar with cam gear on a non-variable cam engine, we would have uh, our standard just cast cam gear that's going to be riding on the timing belt or the timing chain, allowing the cam to spin with the engine operation so that everything's timed properly in our auto cycle. Now, with a variable cam engine, we're going to find that same kind of idea. We're going to have a cam gear. That cam gear is going to be hollow inside. It's going to have spring mechanisms that's going to allow the cam to actually move. So this would be the same idea if we have a something like an Evo 8 engine, where it has a, a multi-bolt adjustable cam gear where we can actually loosen the bolts up and move the cam gear around so that we could change the overlap or change where the position is of the cam when the engine's running to be able to achieve better performance. So whether it's going to be quicker spool or better top end, there's going to be all kinds of things to consider when you're just moving that cam gear statically. So in the adjustable cam gear scenario, non-variable cam, so an Evo 8 engine, a 4G63 engine, we'll find that that overlap or that, that, that movement of the cam is fixed. It is not dynamic. So once we adjust the cam gear or even a stock cam gear that's not adjustable, it's not going to be able to move. With a variable cam engine, we can actually rotate that cam and essentially have our cam moving dynamically as the engine's moving around. So you can kind of think of it as just constantly making cam gear adjustments um, on the fly without having to actually break out tools and adjust the bolts on the cam gear and move the cam gear around. This gives us a tremendous amount of flexibility and tuning window. Most modern engines are equipped with some form of variable cam because it makes economy better and we can gain more performance out of the engine. And that's exactly what we can do here with the MyVec programming. So on a Mitsubishi 4V11 engine, we will have a variable cam on the intake 
and thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.